Danielle Purefoy, and I'm the Race in Place editor at Scalawag. I don't have slides today, but um, yeah, I'm just going to give you a bit of a story about our collaboration. Scalawag is a five-year-old magazine and media organization headquartered in Durham, North Carolina, devoted to journalism and storytelling that illuminates dissent, unsettles dominant narratives, pursues justice and liberation, and stands in solidarity with marginalized people and communities across the South. And today I'm going to talk with you a little bit about one of our collaborative projects with a writer who is currently incarcerated on death row in North Carolina. So about four years ago, a former editor of Scalawag approached our team about a writing workshop he was facilitating with death row prisoners at Raleigh Central Prison. One of the participants, Lyle May, had already written a memoir and was seeking an opportunity to write more for the public. Specifically, he wanted to write about the problems with the education and parole policies in North Carolina's prison system. Lyle was sentenced to death in 1999 at 21 years old. He told me that prison was where he grew up, where he decided to pursue his education as he goes through the decades-long appeals process to be released from prison. Death row prisoners in North Carolina do not have access to publicly funded education. Unlike the general prison population, they are deemed unworthy of such privileges the resources are considered wasted on them. Of the 140 men currently on death row, Lyle is one of the only prisoners who has attained an advanced degree while incarcerated. In his 2016 essay for Scalawag, he said, quote, there needed to be something more than the poison of prison air, that lethal combination of hatred, bitterness, and ignorance that rots mind, body, and soul. Life inside, life outside, 
his writing projects, his classes, how thumb drives work. The last time I visited Lyle, before the pandemic shut down all visitation privileges, he told me that the $500 check he received from Scalawag for his last story on how prisons routinely violate freedom of the press was the largest paycheck he'd received in his life. He is 42 years old. Our team has learned many lessons throughout our collaboration with Lyle and other prisoners, but this is one of the most important. Though we are committed to paying all of our writers, Lyle helped us realize that paying incarcerated writers in particular has exponential impacts on their ability to both survive and to keep speaking truth to 